This is Faroki Muskwate at Kilkaldi Museum. I'm going to take you through to have a look at the Double Visions exhibition from the Papua New Guinea. The exhibition is called Double Visions, Contemporary Art from Papua New Guinea and it's in two main sections. The first features probably Papua New Guinea's most famous artist, Matthias Kawagi, and the second um, features a range of different artists who are currently working in Papua New Guinea, and it comes under the title of Highlands to Islands, which means Highlands to Islands, looking at the different places in Papua New Guinea that the artists are working. The art itself, it's a uh Kind of, it just looks like uh, African. Is the what's the link? What is there a link between? Um, there, there isn't really a link. I mean, I think you will probably find that there are similarities of work that is made in different parts of the world because we all have a kind of an innate need to make things, and also there are things like geometric designs, for example, that you will find in different parts of the world where people haven't actually met or been influenced by each other but just these kinds of patterns are things that as human beings we will naturally actually make. How was the response, feedback from the people? I think people have been very intrigued because it's obviously very unusual to see work from Papua New Guinea in Scotland. This work um, was shown in London before through the Rebecca Hossack Art Gallery who have been partners with us in this project but um, apart from work by Kawagi which is uh, owned by the museums in Glasgow, Culture and Sport Glasgow have four beautiful paintings by him. There is nowhere really that you would see this work in Scotland. Can you tell us about uh, more about Five Contemporary and Art? I can. We're based in St Andrews, but we're an organisation that works throughout Fife. We organise exhibitions and events, and a lot of our work appears in the galleries around Fife and Double Visions obviously is in Kakodi but we also have exhibitions in St Andrews Museum and Art Gallery and the other exciting part of our work is we work an awful lot outside the gallery so we get artists working with communities and small organisation groups and we try to invite all of those people to take part in contemporary art. How about uh, this exhibition, how has it been? This exhibition has been colourful, vibrant, exciting. Um, it ran on from Jack Vitriano, which was one of the biggest um, attended events in the whole of Fife this year. A little bit down on those numbers, would like to see more audience take advantage of seeing Papua New Guinea work this year. And obviously it moves to St Andrews, so there's still actual time for people to see some of the work here. The exhibition's here at Kirkcaldy Museum and Art Gallery until the 20th of June. So I hope people will take advantage of that opportunity and come and see the work because, as I said, it's such a rare opportunity to see the work and it's so colourful and so beautiful that, you know, I want more people to be able to enjoy it and find out what a billum is, for example. Um, I didn't know what a billum was until we started putting this exhibition together. Some of the exhibition is going to be shown in St Andrews in July and the beginning of August and that's because there's a major conference of uh, European Oceanic scholars who are coming to St Andrews and as part of the conference they will be able to see part of the exhibition in St Andrews at the Gateway Galleries. I hope you enjoy this cultural experience. This has been Farouk Muskwati for Channel 5. Thank you for watching.